In this lecture, we will list down all the work products which can be examined by the static testing. With this, we will address the first learning objective of this lesson. That is, recognize types of software work product that can be examined by the different static testing techniques. It is marked as K1, so you need to just remember the name of work products. Before we start, remember this. Any work product can be examined using static testing. These are the different work products which we are going to discuss here. Few of them you already know, and few are new here. For the new terms, we will see short description. First work product is specifications, including business requirements, functional requirements, and security requirements. Let's see definition of each item. Business requirements describe the characteristics of a proposed system from the viewpoint of the system's end user. It is a high-level requirement from the point of view of user. Functional requirement that specifies a function that a component or system must be able to perform. It is a low-level requirement for the technical team to implement. A security requirement is a security feature required by system users or a quality the system must possess to increase the user's trust in the system they use. This is the first work product, specifications, including business requirements, functional requirements, and security requirements. Now, let's move to the second work product, which is epics, user stories, and acceptance criteria. Let's see definition of each item. An epic is one big piece of product functionality. Usually, it is too big to be completed in one sprint and should be split up into smaller bodies of work. I will explain this once we cover user story definition. A user story is a specific task within an epic. A user story is the smallest unit of work in an agile framework. Now let's understand what is epic and user story with the help of an example. Consider registration and authentication is an epic. That means it refers to all types of registration and authentication possible by the software. It is a big functionality. So when we move to user story, we divide it for an example. Sign up with email, sign up with Facebook, log in with email, log in with Facebook, forgot password, and log out. These are all the small functionality within Epic. Last point is acceptance criteria. Acceptance criteria are the conditions that a software product must meet to be accepted by a user a customer or other system. They are unique for each user's story and define the feature behavior from the end user's perspective. Next work product is architecture, design specifications, and code. Let's see definition of each item. Software architecture is the defining and structuring of a solution that meets technical and operational requirements. Software architecture optimizes attributes involving a series of decisions, such as security, performance, and manageability. A design specification is a document prepared by the client that details the specific requirements of the project. It is based on geotechnical information, piping requirements, and permissible methods and means for the execution of the work. Code is the set of instructions forming a computer program which is executed by a computer. This was the third and fourth work product. Fifth work is testware including test plans, test cases, test procedures, and automated test scripts. We discussed a lot about this in previous chapters, that's why I'm not explaining it here. Next is user guide. A user guide is essentially a book-length document containing instructions on installing, using, or troubleshooting a hardware or software product. 
For an example, when we get a washing machine, along with it, you also get a user guide where it's mentioned how to use the machine. Next is web page. Everyone knows what our web page is. Next is contracts, project plans, schedules, and budget planning. These terms are self explanatory. Next is configuration setup and infrastructure setup. These are the documents which explain what are the different configurations available in the software. Last one is models. Let's see this picture from the MATLAB Simulink model. Such models also can be reviewed. All these documents can be reviewed and mistakes in them can be found by the static testing. Let's go through each work product again so that we can remember them. Specifications, including business requirements, functional requirements, and security requirements. Epics, user stories, and acceptance criteria. Architecture and design specifications. Code. Testware, including test plans, test cases, test procedures, and automated test scripts. User guides. Web pages. Contracts, project plans, schedules, and budget planning. Configuration setup and infrastructure setup. Models, such as activity diagrams.